Hey guys, you're watching Wieler TV. Today I would like to talk about the 4570 government, the modern way. Sorry about the background noise, but I have to make this video here now. Um, if you think about the regular 4570 government you can buy in a gun store, the, it comes with a flat nose or a hollow frame bullet. Like you can see here, this is an example, it's a Remington Core Lock in 4570 government with a 405 grain flat nose bullet. Um, those bullets, or those rounds, works perfect. And I use them for sport shooting as well. But the German law for hunting says that we have to use ammunition if you want to hunt a medium-sized game like hawks, for example, what I hunt most time. Then we have to use ammunition uh, with um, energy at 100 meters of minimal 2000 joules, around about 1475 foot pounds of energy at 100 meters. And if you look at those bullets here with a low BC, there is a dramatic uh, loss of uh, energy at this distance. So most times the commercial loads are beyond those 2000 joules. Um, the uh, way is to go with a modern shape bullet. Most time you can't use a hollow point bow tail bullet, for example, in a Levolution, uh, lever action, lever action rifle, because uh, those bullets are um, in a magazine tube and under recoil, the uh, danger of uh, self ignition is given. So you have to use flat nose bullets or something like Hornady offers. They offer the Levolution ammunition with the FDX bullets as a soft point uh, polymer tip on top of the bullet. So you can use this here in a uh, lever action rifle safely. I use my single shot Bergara for hunting. So there is no problem of a uh, dangerous self ignition in a magazine tube. I load each round uh, by hand. So I'm free when it comes in the shape of bullets. And I search for a higher BC bullet. So I have less uh, energy drop at this distance of 100 meter I, I have to uh, use by government. And I found something at Nosler. Nosler offers uh, the polymer tipped uh, ballistic tip bullets in 300 grain. Diameter is 458 and it's normally made for the 458 SOCOM, but it fits the 4570 government as well. I start uh, my regular testing, so I tested how well does this bullet here works in my rifle? Uh, how does the grouping look? And after this, after I uh, found something, uh, an, an hand load that works with my rifle, I measured the velocity. And the velocity was really good. Um, like I told you before, I need 2000 joules of energy at 100 meters. And the load I use in my rifle uh, is uh, comes with an rest energy at 100 meters of 2150 joules. So there's a little bit more than I have to use and because of this I can use this cartridge, my hand load, for hunting hawks. And this is what I did. Um, I would like to demonstrate a bullet after uh, passing two bones and round about 30 35 centimeters of meat. Um, the hawk I, I shoot with this bullet here drops instantly. It was dead instantly, but this is a matter of shot placement. A bad shot placement, it doesn't matter what caliber you use. If it's a bad shot placement, then the animal has to suffer, and yeah, shot placement is everything. But from what I can say, what I can see up to now is that this bullet here works perfect. I can use it uh, without correction of uh, my impact point to a distance up to 150 meters roundabout, and it works every time. So I really like this. This is my go to hand load for hunting, and this is my modern way of the 4570 government, if you will. So if you're interested, in a 4570 government with a uh, flat traje trajectory, I hope I
pronounce it right, then the Nosla ballistic tip bullet with 300 grain is one way to go. Okay guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video here. If so, please leave a comment and tell me what you think about this. Maybe you can share some experience with uh, those bullets. It would be nice to read about it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you very much for taking the time watching my video. Hope I see you next at Vidalala TV.